The funny thing is, Atlas flopped for a reason. We don't need to bring the flop to Ark. It flopped for a reason. Yo, 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 what is up? It is your boy, Steph Flying. Today, we're reacting to Raz Clark's new update video on the crunch. Extinction is coming, baby. Extinction. Ascended yeah, buddy. Guidance with a date, folks. It is Okay, hold on. Okay, look, I, I know, I know. I paused it like five seconds in. Why did they give us a date? Why, why did they give us a date? Are we supposed to believe that this date is going to be legit? Stop. Actually coming and coming December the 16th. Though, will Why are they lying? Actually be abided by no. Time will come. No. And the devs got to say about it. Well, emerging from the adrenaline of aberration ascended, they're eager to announce the next thrilling chapter in the ascended side. Emerging from the adrenaline. There was a lot of adrenaline. Then you guys killed it by being almost two days late. And what to expect from the final third piece of the Bob's Ark Tall Tales DLC bundle. The okay. The Mad Max themed content. Bring it in. Hmm. Modular See, build. at the end of the day, the Extinction Baron Zone is kind of like a Mad Max kind of thing. So I, 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 I you know, I see it. I see it. Battle cars. Can't get over that one. How the terrain is going to work and be suitable for cars. Are we going to be able to perhaps make our own racetracks? Are there going to be racetracks? Nah. Yo, racetracks, bro. Racetracks with tech bridges would be crazy. It was always kind of like a road system within the sanctuary area of mm. extinction. But yeah, for either for way, for. I really look forward to seeing how these cars are going to work with the Unreal 5 reimagining of this wasteland map. They're going to get these ones right. On top of that, we're going to be able to... Extinction is like, Extinction is my second favorite map. It's Valgero, Extinction, then Ragnarok. Y'all don't understand how excited I am for Extinction, but I loved the way it looked in ASE. Will they be able to keep it up to standard on ASA? I don't believe so. Redecorate our bases with a ramshackle outpost? What the hell is that? A ramshackle so outpost. That's perhaps some shanty town pre-built thing that you can pop out maybe even acting as a fob search for last tech traits to upgrade our weapons with the help of our own goodest pop what are we gonna have a pet dog to help us find treasure to upgrade tech is that what a beard of tech is already op enough tech is op enough if you do red drops as well or freaking perps or yellow drops you're going to get some sort of tech. Tech is OP enough and it's super easy to get, man. We don't need to be able to upgrade them, bro. We need to go do the drops, bro. Maybe operating a bit like the shovel from the Scorched Earth DLC pack. Clash with rival tribes in a battle for dominance with new territorial ownership structures. Uh, hang on. What? Wait. Are we going to get perhaps what we've seen in Atlas before? These monuments that claim certain areas. Okay, you know, okay, that? okay. <laughs> I don't know guys if you've played atlas let me know below how it works because that's kind of stupid especially if it's a thing on pve so a tribe can just drop this thing this structure here and then they own the whole area and then you can't do anything there you can't build there do any like what the funny thing is atlas flopped for a reason we don't need to bring the flop to arc it flopped for a reason if all these things were so coveted by the arc fans atlas would have done better why 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 do we just keep reusing old things in in, in this game Atlas is certainly influenced arcs dlc bob's packs content so i wouldn't be surprised perhaps that's the thing we're going to find when that arrives nah. of course joining the fray is the latest creature the dreadnought Mortis, a true <laughs> titan killer the massive beast living up to its name taking on the biggest threats with a platform saddle large enough to carry an artillery and the ability to spit acid coated projectiles. Yo, Titan fights are one of the most annoying things, especially early game or like your first or second breed line if you're maining extinction. It is the most annoying things. So now if you can tame a dreadnought, and I bet you, well, no, I don't bet you, I hope it spawns in the barren zone because if it does, yo, it just puts another level of difficulty. And how do we tame these things? Are we going to have to knock it out? Like, what do we have to do to tame these guys? It would be unreal. But I feel like they're going to reuse a lot of the Brachiosaurus animations and rigging. So I hope they don't. I hope they give us something new. But again, it's so much like the Brachio. I feel, I feel like she's going to be lazy about it and just use the Brachio. 
an absolute giant powerhouse that I'm looking yeah. forward to seeing more of it's when be beautiful. he arrives and, well, does spell the last creature of the voted creatures and the end of the mm -hmm. box pack DLC. Which makes me wonder what is set for the next DLCs after. To that. Yeah. Ragnarok, of course, meant to be the next community map that's meant to join the official roster, and my thoughts it being perhaps was going to be the map to drop before Extinction. I didn't... Yeah, we all, I think we all believe that Rag should have been dropped before Extinction, but for some odd reason, they skipped Rag and went, and what about the surprise? Are we all forgetting about, I swear to God, we're supposed to get a surprise. Did we all just forget about the surprise, and now we're just saying, yeah, Extinction, woohoo, they promised a surprise that we've never seen before. What is that? I didn't believe they were actually going to go with Extinction first, but that is what's happening. Extinction is the next map and coming in December. So Ragnarok must be sometime around the corner after that, right? Either yeah, but Rag is... Coming and coming. I feel like Rag would have been such a better balance after Aberration. After they released Aberration, I feel like Rag would have just been a better balance before going into Extinction. Because Extinction is a lot. It's so different and unique. It's and it's it's just it's it's a well-rounded map and it has a lot of like really nice mechanics to the map and like the atmosphere and things like that. And I feel like they should have just dropped Rag first because it just it sets us back into reality, then bring us back to a crazy height, you know, like a roller coaster. But from this, it's just like a roller coaster where one way is up. Then after we get extinction, it's going to be straight down until maybe Genesis or maybe a Valgero, because that, well, that's just my favorite. But I feel like they should have used Ragnarok next. With a note on AMD, drivers are fixed now. I'm still seeing a few people having some issues with that. The FSR update seems to still be in sort of limbo. I know some of... It's bogus. Like, since they did this whole update, they said the FSR was going to make everything better. But I'm looking at it and it's like, they just took away my NVIDIA frame gen. And the FSR t texture update is just not here yet. And my computer seems to be having more problems now more than ever. After it's supposed to be less problems. Like, what did they do? But Extinction is coming and it's coming in December. Mark your calendars. That, that's a lie. Don't mark your calendars. Don't, 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 don't mark your calendars. <laughs> Come on, you know the score by now. Probably get a day or two delay. Maybe even a few more days on top of that. I just, you know, just drop it a little bit early if you can. But that's the thing. They can drop it early, right? But dropping it early means they have to finish it early, hand it into the stores early, and we know you're not going to do that. They're going to rather wait until the last minute. They're going to say, the, the map comes out tomorrow. We're handing it into the stores tonight and expect it to be up and ready to go. It's not going to be ready to go. You have to do it earlier, but they won't. So, the, so thinking that they're going to drop the map early... It's just your wishful thinking. It's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. They're going to wait till last minute. It's going to be broken. And we're going to get pushed back. At this point, I will never in my life say again that I think they're going to drop the map on time. That's never going to happen. All of the Bob's Wasteland Tour Tales 3 content, those cars especially, I'm looking forward to seeing how they work. And weapon upgrading and ownership claiming this could certainly be a spicy one. Comment below how you're feeling about that one. Man. And hopefully, Extra Life will throw in a few nuggets on what to oh, expect buddy. for the future of Ark following that. Ark 2, where the hell is that? My Ark 2 is just done. It's, it's dusted. Then. Until then, my name's Ras Clark. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and as always. Extinction is a really, really good map. Like, it's one of the maps I spent my like most of my time on in Ark. And it's, it's really nice for PvP because I feel like it's at the point where it's so well-grounded because everything is easy enough to get and some of the creatures on the map are really really nice like you can get a man of or snow owls things like that that help you out in pvp so even if you're fighting super strong players you're pretty good and even with pve those dinos help a lot man of garments get you across the map so fast they're not the hardest to tame snow owls keep your stuff alive heal you and the titan fights are just fun because they're just so huge they spawn in the real world so you don't have to go into an arena to fight them they actually spawn on the map in the wild so you can come out with your friends and fight them and do things like that it's really fun and then there's mini games like the drops the map is just it's crazy fun it's crazy fun how will bob's tall tales like actually affect it so far from what they're telling us, look, from what we are seeing on like the pictures and things, 
it doesn't look like too much. The ATVs won't really do too much of a damage because no one's going to really want to use them unless you're trying to be cool or whatever because you've got mana garments, you've got things that are going to be giving you flight. Like You, you probably want to be off the ground on Extinction, not on the ground. So I don't see how they're going to be a super game changer or something unless they add like a homing missile on them or something. But apart from that, if so far, it looks okay. Now, look, I don't get why Studio Wildcard and Snail Games are trying to reuse everything from their failed operation atlas and putting it into arc the reason those things didn't work was simply because we didn't want them you don't need to inject them into arc so it's like it's it's, it's a lot of trickery going on but i don't think it's just coming out on time um i think we're gonna see a lot of uh, delays and if it does if by the odd chance it does come out um i feel like it's gonna be a lot of broken things but i want to see what new additions they bring i want to see how the dreadnought does as well because that's it's a really cool dino hopefully it comes with some like really unique way of taming it but apart from that yeah not a terrible crunch nothing too crazy or nothing too major i hope we get some like new maps because we were supposed to get a surprise it was supposed to be ragnarok and a surprise yet we haven't seen anything about ragnarok which is getting me a little bit worried um I feel like it's either the map is really big and they're trying to make it better or they're trying to fix things and that's why they pushed it back and they're trying out Extinction because Extinction closes off the original arc story. So releasing it so soon, why? Why are we rushing so quickly to end the original arc story? Are they going to be writing a new story or maybe expanding the Genesis story? Like what's going on here? Because why are we rushing to finish this story? What's going on? Are they going to announce something about arc 2? early 2025 we don't know but i feel like they're rushing to finish the arc story for a reason arc has been out for like a year now literally just over a year so it's crazy that they're trying to finish the story off so fast and not releasing anything else so like it's, it's, it's a little bit crazy when they had so much opportunities to just add more things in between before we got to the very end but yeah let me know what you guys think don't forget if you like my opinions if you like these reactions make sure to like subscribe check out Ross clark check out his videos and support him over there as well he's a good dude and i'll see you guys on the next one